Uh, I'm talking to you today behind me is my house. Uh, the purpose of this video is not a show of, of my life in America. But today I want to share with you a lesson I learned in a hard way in order to be able to succeed, in order to be able to own the home, especially in America. Because many immigrants, one of their dreams is to reach at a point where you can be own something, especially a home. Uh, I learned in a hard way, especially today I want to talk about the credit card. How I did a big mess up about credit card and it took me longer time to come back to the truck and in order for me down the road to be able to own a home here in America. Welcome everyone, my name is Ernest Bovas Makulilo IBM and today I want to share with you some of the mistakes and this, these mistakes are affecting a lot of immigrants when we come here in America or in other Western countries where we, we are going. But these kind of mistakes sometimes they can stay with us for a long, long time if we do not know how to go about them. I've already made a video about uh, overall credit card, but I haven't talked to you, did I go through the same mistakes or the same uh, advice I've been giving to you like uh, on this particular video. Basically, no. Why I say no is because when I came to America, which is many immigrants when they come here, when they go to other countries, certain things are not part of our culture. Yes, uh, here uh, you can get a lot of loans and especially when we are going to buy a house, we have to buy, uh, you get a mortgage, you get a loan from the bank. Uh, there are loans, they require over, almost all loans for the homes, they will ask you to get uh you, you have to see uh you are, in addition to have down payment you need to have a credit score uh there is a certain number usually most is around 400 something up to 850 to have that kind of number which is going to guide you uh to determine are you trustworthy person and many people do not know about this one and especially for us from developing countries we are coming from the countries where there is no the issue of credit score credit cards in the banking system what we have in many people uh, many countries in africa for instance is just a trustworthiness of your neighbors uh, for instance if your neighbor uh, you go and borrow some money you pay back, they will trust you, they will give you money another time. Uh, if you, you, you are, uh, your neighbor has, uh, uh, there is a funeral at home, you go there, that means you are trust, trustworthy person, also they can come to your funeral. So it's just some sort of that nature. So it is informal, very effective way over there. But if you have the behavior of borrowing money from your friends and the family and you don't pay back, if you have any particular problem, they are not going to help you. They are not going to help you at all. So the same system is here. We have the same system. So this system is affecting many people. Why is it affecting many people? Because we come here, we are going to borrow money from the bank, we are getting the credit cards, but in the end, we don't want to pay back. And if we don't pay back, no one is coming to knock at your door to tell you, oh, you, 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 you have a credit card of 500 US dollar, but you haven't paid back. Minimum payment, maybe it's 20 dollar. So if you haven't paid back, that means it's going to affect you down the road if you want to borrow something. So once you're brand new here, you come here, you are starting your life here. After getting a job, starting working, you will start to see uh, all these banks, or all these credit companies, they are sending their credit offers. You have been pre-approved, 500, 1,000, 5,000, uh, increase your credit limit. And because we don't talk, because we do not know, we don't do this, we are starting accepting those offers. I was part of it. I got credit card. Purchase a ticket one time, I was good, I was good to Tanzania, I had to do that. Then you're supposed to be able to pay on monthly, maybe maybe $50 each month or $25, $70, it depends on the limit and how much you need. And you end up, we end up, I end up using more of that. Then you get another credit card, you start maxing up, using up to the maximum limit. It has a limit. And then it comes to the time of paying, you are delaying. 
and because immigrants most of the, most of us don't talk especially from africa we don't want to talk and share this information in advance so some people say oh it's not a big deal i have these kind of credits i have i have I haven't paid them back they don't do anything so we are lying to one another we are not telling one another that go and pay make sure that you don't owe anybody and how are the different uh, what are the techniques in order to be able to have very good credit score and what is the importance of credit score we don't have this education when i came to america no one told me any immigrant and you have friends who have even homes but it's just a simple information okay you're brand new i don't want to say you are stupid but oh i don't want to see you whatever you are here brand new but there are certain things you need to know number one don't take more than one credit card at the moment just have at least one because in the end it's not about using cash every single day you need to have at least one credit card this credit card is going to show you your, your trustworthiness so what you need to do if your credit card is 500 us dollar make sure that you don't use more than 250 not don't use more than 50 percent of the credit credit limit you have been given secondly make sure that if they tell you the minimum payment is 25 dollar pay each month and if possible pay two dollar extra even one dollar extra because the computer is going to determine that you have been paying above the minimum payment it doesn't matter whether someone they you borrowed ten thousand or you borrowed 500 credit score is going to determine the same way because if you 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 you, you have a, a loan of ten thousand you didn't pay no matter what you are late you have late payment and if i have 500 my payment is 20 dollars i didn't pay i have late payment so the credit score is going to be destroyed no matter how much amount you owe is just because you have late payment so because of that we went on and on without paying and you don't see no one is coming to get you even if they call you just hang up the phone or you don't have to pick up the phone it's a problem we didn't know it's a problem at that time and then you want to buy a brand new home, buy a brand new car they are going to look on your credit because you didn't know it's going to affect you it's going to affect you because either they don't give you the loan but if they approve they are going to approve with a higher interest rate because you are not trustworthy then you are going to find the apartment they have to run credit score they are going to look like oh you have all these late payments either they don't give you even apartment nice apartment you cannot get it or if you get the apartment you have to pay higher uh what the security deposit or they can modify the instructions specifically to make it difficult for you then it comes to buy a home there is no exception you must have a good credit score no matter whether you have money you don't have money you need to have a good credit score so if you come here and you do all this mess up is affecting you and another mistake people are doing is when they are going again you are here when they send all those uh, pre-approved credit card all those credit cards if you accept them you call them back and say oh i agree and this is my my social security number check if i can be approved when they run your social security number along to that credit is going to affect you because it's called the hard pool the hard check they are going to check that means you wanted to borrow more money so the more every time you want to borrow, to, to, to borrow more money whether they approve whether they don't approve is affecting your score that means this guy is having this credit card is going to request more is going to request more is going to request more and this is the reason why african countries they have higher interest rates when the governments go to ask for loan to these big companies either banks overseas or to imf world bank because you have so many loans you are borrowing here so you are risk we didn't know all those kind of things because we assume one bank doesn't talk to another bank yes they don't talk but each bank is going to report to the three credit bureaus so they have the same common information and when time comes you want to buy a home you want to buy a car you want to have a nice apartment it's going to be a problem so my advice is don't do the mistake like i did if i had to buy a house uh, yes i have i mean i bought the house after being here in the us for 10 years but i believe 
if I had a good credit score, I could I could decide to buy even earlier than that. I could, I could get a, 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 a brand new car earlier than when I got my car. Because sometimes, at the time, sometimes when I was getting my first uh, loan, I didn't, I was using cash all the time because you see, oh, this is like Africa. You are using your debit card, you are using your cash, you are using debit. But even if you use your debit for how much money you have, if you don't have a credit card, no matter what, you must have a credit card so that they can be able to track. If you use cash, they are not going to be to, they are going to track you. They cannot know your trust, trustworthiness. So that is a lesson which I got in a very hard way, but it very, it, it helps you. So if you come very uh, brand new here, don't start getting credit cards, multiple credit cards, accepting different offers. Each time they are going to run, they are going to check. It's just like you. It's just like you. You are in Africa. You go to your ten friends, and all of them you are going to borrow money from. If you go to your ten friends and borrow money from, they don't see this guy is not trustworthy. They cannot trust you. They know for sure you are kind of like no. This person is is a joke. So the same way it comes to the business. If you go to ten companies, you get from McDonald. You I mean let's say you go to Walmart. You are getting their their, their credit card. You are going to uh, Home Depot. You are getting credit card. You are going to US Bank, you're going to Bank of America, you get a credit cards. Even if they tell you you have been pre-approved, don't get tempted to call them. It is going to affect you. And if you have a credit card, very simple. I'm not a financial expert, but it's a very simple way. You just take your card, don't use over 50% of it, and use on the important uh, purchases. Don't use a credit card to go for the movie theater to check your movie. Don't use your credit card just to go for dinner with your girlfriend. No. Use a credit card you are using. Maybe uh, you have 500 or 1,000. You have purchased items for maybe $50 of that. The monthly payment is $20 per month. Pay more on that. Even if it will be $1, pay, pay on that. Make sure that you don't pay on the last day. Sometimes you might process on the last day. It cannot be detected until the next day you are going to start having the late payment. So that is the technique how you have to do. And this is how you find out white people here in America. They are so smart in that way. Oh, many people in America can say, but especially on the white people, uh, families. What do they do? The parents get credit card for their children. Or they give a card and authorize their children to be authorized user. So if you authorize the user, the parent is using credit card, is paying everything very, very good. So a child at the age of 16 is part of the parent's credit card, then is going to start building credit for the child. But at the same time, the child is going to get the card, and that card is having maybe 200, but when the, is going, the parent is the one is using that card, but it's going to pay, but every, all the information is for the child. So the child is at the age of 18, 19, he is in the college, is having the perfect credit score. And when the child is 20 years old, 21, 22, can go there and get a very nice car for the lowest interest rate, can buy a house, whatever, if they have a very first job, they can be able to do that because they, have, they haven't messed up. So let's try to do that as immigrant. Let's make sure that our kids are going to be authorized user of our credit card as long as you have a clean credit score. Don't put your child into a credit score, a credit card as authorized user if you are not paying. You are going to destroy his or her life. But at the same time, make sure uh, for the uh, for, 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 for your children, you teach them the financial responsibility. And your parents, like you are brand new here, make sure that you don't come to do a mess up. If you mess up, it can come to hinder you. You cannot get good jobs. Each job, nasty job, they have to run your credit score to know if you are trustworthy. Because if you are, you are not paying, you are doing whatever, how can they trust you to be FBI agent? How can they trust you to become a CEO of a company? So they have to run a credit score to know if you are a trustworthy person, they can trust you with the responsibility of the company or you are going to just be a thief. So those are the things I wanted to share with you. Uh, some of those I learned in a hard way. It took me a bit, bit longer. I did a mess up on, on down the road because no one told you. And they know that this is, these are the things we need to know. So I want to share with you all these things so that for you also can be able to know that uh, these are very, very crucial and they are very, very important for you to make sure that you don't do all these mistakes you have been able to do. In the end, you can be able to... The, the purpose of this video is to make sure that you don't do 
unnecessary mistakes. Mistakes you can be able to avoid. And once you come here, we see all immigrants are going to exceed. They are going to, su to succeed. And that you are going to bring respect. You cannot bring respect if every immigrant is coming here. A majority of us are going to do a mess up. The same mistakes which you can be able to tell one another. And how can you be able to avoid. So that you want to say someone comes here within two to five years. You have your nice house. You have your nice family. Everything can be able to, to have very good success. You have become a success story. Not just I've been in America for 15, 25, 30 years, but you have all these big mistakes in the credit score uh, which you can be able to avoid. So thank you everyone and I wish you all the best. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, my YouTube channel which is youtube.com slash Scholars. Thank you and goodbye. I really appreciate your continued support.